Hello. Today, we would like to talk about the corruption problem in Thai bureaucratic system. We all know that the problem of corruption is an act that causes conflict of interest and self-damage to every term of the society. The group of people who do the corruption are all have power in their hand and use it to do projects and to manage budgets in order to benefit themselves or their family rather than create long-term benefit to the all people or majority of people. It's all caused the inequality problem, which is complicated and hard to solve. Firstly, we would like to start the topic of general information about corruption in Thailand. Then we are going to talk about the types and characteristics of this corruption. Follow with factors that cause corruption. And lastly, we're going to suggest way to solve and to prevent the problem. For the general information, corruption among government officers is an ancient problem of every society in the world. The administrative power under the centralized system, especially in Thai society, in the past, allowing the government officer to keep some of themselves and some sent to the central government of the king. In the modern public administration, there are campaigns from government agency or independent organization agree that corruption is a serious problem which leads to the property and is an obstacle that really hinder development. For Thailand, it is commonly known that Corruption is a problem and is a primarily important greatly affect the development of the country. This problem has been in gain for a long time and are found in almost every occupational group in Thai society. Associate with the way of life of people in Thai society for a long time or can say that it is really a part of Thai culture. Corruption is very normal and is not a big deal for Thai society. But in reality, corruption is a major problem that affects Thai people and the most common corruption is in the bureaucratic system. The efficiency of the bureaucratic system and the administration of state affairs are the most important causes of corruption in the bureaucratic system. Corrupting the royal budget is a problem of corruption in the bureaucratic system. The country's development budgets used by various government agencies. This creates a gap for government officials to corrupt because the budget to develop the country is a large amount. Therefore, attempting government officials to think about the corruption, the nation's money. Although Thailand has a number of educated intellectuals who should be able to keep up with pollution and other officers, but most of them tend to be more self-interest than good citizens who are more interested in politics such as examining middle class government that are self-interest. He often uses the idea that pollution tend to cheat each other on all sides. Therefore, if anyone cheat and work well, making the economy grow is, is considered acceptable. Is this a form of corruption that it quite obvious, but it is a form of conflicts or interest that is not illegal and is hard to see. Thai people still not realize or even consider it corruption. Lack of knowledge and awareness, this leaves a question, how does corruption damage the modern nation? This kind of habit is contributing to the expansion of the corruption problem in Thailand because the public sector is weak while the more powerful political business sector both business knowledge power can find benefit in many different ways in addition to the budget corruption elections still have corruption as well politicians and civil servants have many times more powerful than public sector and the examination system by the opposition the capitalist system is also have very high influence on political parties Professional politicians have a wide network of politicians and also have an enormous number of capital still controlling politics party system. Corruption is not transparent, including the purchase, the right to sell votes in election, which still exists in Thai society. In the future, policy corruption will expand. 
In addition to being a corporation, or politician, government official, and businessman, they are also cross-business group nation join as player as well because they are mutual benefit by the future policy corruption will be a bigger project, no more small project. Because it's a waste of time and it's not worth it if it's a project. Similar side will be bundled into a package to get more budget. By citing specific necessity and solving problem for the poor and persuade the poor with partial benefit. In the future, corruption will be hybrid. It is a mixed breed and is resistant to drug if not prepared from the beginning. The more you remember to do a lot of damage to the nation. All right, you may have know about some information from the previous part. To be more understand, we are going to categorize corruption, behavior into type and characteristic. We can divide it into T try and fifteen characteristic. For the try are consist of one party corruption is the unlawful or standard accepted of money by a government official as an invited person in order to do something for the person who give the money. 2. Large-scale corruption, which is often corrupt of official is responsible for accepting large amounts of by the police and large project sub at Valia Company. 3. Another type of corruption gives given reward volunteer who provide acceptance to order example sub at evaluation to execution of a con consistent relationship building offer. And there are 15 characteristics such as 1. Seeking for economic retail interest, right monopoly, corruption, and correcting illegal share by creating artificial shortage. 2. The seizure of state resources belonging to the family may be done by the periodization of the aristocratic state enterprise. 3. Conflict of interest situation in white state officials suffer personal losses and sub result into end. Their dissension making or performing their duty without fairness. 4. Using political influence to create benefit from the stock market. 5. Considering incorrect management, concealment and lying. 6. Bias and bias, use of policy, law, rules, and regulations. 7. Use of commercial influence acting as a broker or having a conflict of interest from reciprocal trading. Exchange of agricultural products with trading partners. 8. Misuse of government resources document forgery for use of public funds for political gain. 9. Do not perform duty but use sectarianism instead, sub as option bidding. 10. Giving and accepting by corruption and temptation. 11. Accepting improper gifts, such as high-value gift checks and high-value bribes. 12. The country's exclusive acts as a major patron of the country by using populist policy. 13. Abusing the power of the police, military and civil servants. 14. Election fraud, both buying wars and corruption in various ways. 15. Contribution to support illegal campaigns, such as donation to politicians and government political parties in order to influence government policy. These various categories show us that the bureaucratic system is in trouble. As we listen from the previous part, it also illustrated that Thailand has a lot of corruption problems. Those are hidden in all state of bureaucracy. However, there are three failures which causes the corruption problem in Thailand consists of 1. 
methods of tacky post in many groups of occupation. In many groups, we have different methods in groups of women officers, soldiers, and policemen. Therefore, there is a tradition concept that has been passed down for a long time. So, there is giving meaning corruption to be the behavior that is inconsistent with the concept of being a public figure or the government officers. So, the corruption of government officers by unknowing or with sincerity still often happen in Thailand. Two, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is the factor that more important than a person who is a government officer. Therefore, problem solving must emphasize at the system. Whether believing in the system, efficiency of system alongside serving a government officer's in individual status. Whether providing salary, one friend that civil servants should receive. Work ethics, expectation and opportunity in long-term civil servants life. 3. The efficiency of the bureaucracy or public administration. This factor is one of the more important causes of corruption in the bureaucracy. This leads to the loss of government revenue and inefficient use of government funds. For example, the lack of government service to the visitors. Taxpayers do not receive quality service. Entrepreneurs or businessmen have to spend more money dealing with government agencies. In part of the reasons why the business might have a higher capital of to operate. In tackling corruption, it is said that the head waggles, the tail is chicken. That is, if the minister is honest, unselfish for personal and partisan interest. Solving problems in the bureaucracy will be able to see a solution. But if ministers or executive in the bureaucracy are corrupt themselves, it will be difficult to solve them. If those faults are exposed, instead, lesser serious ones are often scapegoats. Whether or not those top executives will be punished depends on their power, influence, and lies. However, these corruptions often involve politicians. So, when a scapegoat occurs, it will be difficult to find evidence of wrongdoing to the politician involved. Corruption and partisanship continue to be associated and with the chain of evils that are difficult to eradicate. The solution for the corruption problem in Thailand will be success depending on the cooperation of everyone in society and must be serious about continuity in solving problems since corruption is a problem that is difficult to solve and has been around for a long time. The solution therefore requires cooperation from many groups to help each other. And there are many ways to solve it, whether it's setting up a corruption watchdog organization and giving rewards to those who point out crew as motivation collaborating with the media in presenting corruption news to the public. There is pressure to strictly punish those who corrupt because if we only allow the authority in the organization to manage people who are subordinates alone, we will not be able to solve the corruption problem. The nation needs to rely on the power of the public and private sectors. A good democracy must allow citizens to participate effectively and to create a good system of government and social affairs for all sectors of society. It can also provide training calls to change the behavior of officers as well. Fighting for officers will try to influence in the organization by self-examination of government officials within the organization and by auditing from the private sector and the public. When found guilty, punishment must be served because these officials are considered unsuitable for the organization. Most importantly, they should have to move out of the area and move back in, or other measures that can suppress effective for government officials who are seen to be have in corruption so that it does not happen again. In addition, the political regime must have a regime that is conducive to anti-corruption, because governance is a large structure and a factor that determines the long-term success of the country. If political regimes are weak and the corruption is impossible, 
there must be an opportunity for the public to participate effectively. Government personnel must act primarily for the benefit of the people. The private sector must reform and encourage the business sector to work with transparency and the people sector must know about their rights, duties and responsibility in economic, social and political ways to be a powerful country force. They must have knowledge and understanding in building good governance mechanisms for government and social affairs. There must be awareness among government officials in helping to maintain government property and using resource for the utmost benefit to the government. There are also factors that are essential in solving process, such as 1. Leaders must dare to solve problems because if the leader with the highest power in the country is not serious and does not solve problems or joins in corruption, solving the problem will never happen for sure. Therefore, in almost every country where corruption cannot be solved, it comes from the leaders who don't really take action. 2. The business sector and civil society must be strong. Both must not agree with the corruption because if the government is not ready to solve the problem, it means that the business sector and civil society must push the country to have a business system with good governance, must not have corruption, and making public policy must have a transparent process and people have the right to have a voice to share opinions, to export inappropriate behavior. As mentioned above, this is what needs to happen in society that wants to solve problems. But this thing will not happen by themselves. It must come from the push of the society. 3. People in society must be ready to change their behavior to be good examples. Do not allow corruption behavior to prevail in society, especially in a society where the patronage system has a high influence. People in society may consider or respect corrupt people simply because they have given them some benefit, such as sharing assistance until the people see corrupt people as good people. These things will make society confused and unable to solve problems. Finally, we can see that solving corruption problem requires the cooperation of everyone in society. According to what we have been mentioned before, it can be seen that the problem of corruption in Thailand causes many problems and complications, which is difficult to solve and to get rid of. So, it's much better if you don't let the corruption problem happen. Well, we would like to provide ways to prevent it, consists of 1. Creating good value in the career of government officer and two, promoting good governance. The corruption problem can't done alone. It needs to work with group, which consists of participants who work in various positions in each organization. Mostly, the group established by someone who already has authority, but he or she want to get more benefit. So, they convince others in the organization to cooperate with them, especially the one who work in a different position and have less authority. This, this make it always comes with patronage system due to one who have less authority want to stay close to who have more authority to make him or herself valuable. In the other hand, the corruption can be done by the cooperation between private organization and the public organization in a way sharing profit together, such as collusion and bid ringing. We have to make sure that the project that they're done together is transparent. Lastly, we must focus on the officers or the individual that who is a government officers. Thai bureaucratic system make the government officers stock their value with authority and money. They want to make themselves valuable 
by rich authority and money as much as they can. Joining corruption group is a stepping stone that they can reach the goal. Moreover, we should promote good governance to be the rule of bureaucratic system. Good governance is a principle that aims to make bureaucratic system orderly, interact well with private section, and ready to handle long-term and short-term problems, which is include uh, corruption problem. If good governance becomes the rule, the system will be more stable because it will create good corporate co culture and the corruption problem will be disappeared. Conclusion, the corruption problem is a long-term problem of Thai bureaucratic system, which unable to get rid of. It always comes with authority and money. According to abundant types and characteristics of corruption in Thailand, which means it became crisis for the nation. The attitude of Thai people of various occupational groups and efficiency of the administration to the state affairs and the system itself are all factors that cause corruption problem. Although we can solve it by the cooperation of every part of the society, such as governments, business sector, press, or even the individual, but to be better, we shouldn't let it happen. We should create good value in career of government officer and individuals who involve with government affairs and promote good governance to be acceptable in all sections. We believe it will prevent corruption problem and it will solve the corruption problem in the future.